So I'm curious to see what a bowl of beans, Nigerian beans and corn porridge does to my blood sugar. A bowl of beans porridge contains about 250 calories. It's high in fiber. It's low in cholesterol. Contains about 17 grams of protein, 68 grams of carbohydrates, and 7 grams of fat. Of course, this will depend on whatever else you add to it. So I have just beans and corn here. Nothing else. So, but some people do add plantain and chicken and so on to the meal. So that will affect the amount of calorie in it. So we'll see what that does. So it's been about two hours since I had the bowl of beans and corn porridge. So let's check the continuous glucose monitor to see what that did to my blood sugar. As a reminder, let's just go back and look at jollof rice and see the rise of blood sugar when we had a similar bowl. The blood sugar for jollof rice rose by 9.6 millimoles per liter. So that was a huge rise from the rice. So let's see what has happened with the beans. So this time around, there was a rise of 4.2 millimoles per liter or 75.6 milligrams per deal. So a lower rise for beans and corn are still carbohydrates. The protein in the beans help to keep the glucose from rising very high. So beans is a nice meal by itself. I think the blood sugar rise may not have been that high, but because it was com combined with some corn, I think that's why the blood sugar went up. I'll try and have beans alone, but I, I usually like to have it with some corn, but I'll try and eat beans alone to see what happens to the blood sugar. I'll also probably eat beans with plantain and see what that does. So continue to stay subscribed so that we can see what's happening with our blood sugar. Remember, if you're diabetic, your results might be slightly different, but hopefully you can see that beans doesn't cause as much rice in blood sugar as eating just plain rice.